In this video, we're going to talk about deploying and configuring the CloudSwitch Enterprise Appliance. So the two steps there really refer to the process of taking the OVF that CloudSwitch provides and um, delivering it into a VMware environment. Specifically, it will be an ESX server in our case, though uh, Virtual Center is of course supported. And uh, the second point here is configuration of the VMware um, uh, console. So in that uh, step, we're going to assign an IP address, a host name, and a password to the CloudSwitch virtual appliance through VMware's console. So uh, what we'll do here essentially is um, select the OVF that we downloaded in the first video. Um, that's the actual CloudSwitch appliance um, in uh, VMware OVF format. So you see that here. Um, the VMware infrastructure client will give us a couple of options here. Um, the only relevant one really is selection of a data store. I only had one, so it automatically chose that for me. Um, we'll accelerate this a bit uh, rather than waiting the uh, three minutes or so. So we see uh, we've moved forward to you know 90 plus percent here. Um, once this is completed, we'll actually start the uh, CloudSwitch appliance. Um, so it looks like we're at about 100% here. I'll close this and we'll actually uh, click the play button to start the appliance. Um, what you'll want to do then is open the console so you can actually see the, uh, the start process. So I'll do that now and we should be seeing the uh, cloud switch boot process. Excellent. So this will uh, take maybe uh, you know 10-15 seconds or so and what we'll see then is a, a graphical wizard for configuring the appliance. So I'll assign mine a host name, a password um, for uh, administrative access. And remember this password, you will need it uh, in the activation phase, which is uh, actually in the, the third enterprise video here. So when I click next, uh, you have the option to use a static IP. I'm going to choose DHCP and I'll leave the time zone in at its default, which is Eastern. That's actually correct for me. Um, so the appliance will walk through uh, a couple of different steps here. Um, uh, configuration of the uh, uh, network information you just provided. Uh, we'll generate certs for authentication, set up our default schema, and finally start the process, which we see has completed here. And uh, the last thing we'll see here is essentially the console showing us an IP address um, that can be used to access the cloud switch appliance. In my case, a 192.168 address that's internal to my data center. So that's basically it. Um, uh, the next step in a, in a uh, subsequent video will be um, activation and move of a virtual machine into the cloud. So uh, thanks for listening and uh, please check out the rest of the videos available on our site.